Mastering the third conditional. Dive into the world of hypothetical past. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our series on mastering the English language. Today, we'll be diving into the world of the third conditional. It's all about hypothetical situations in the past. Let's unravel this together and by the end of the video, you will be able to confidently use and understand the third conditional in English. The third conditional, also known as conditional three, is used to talk about things that did not happen in the past. It describes hypothetical or unreal situations in the past and the possible results these situations might have had. The third conditional is formed using two parts, the if clause or conditional clause and the main clause. The if clause uses the past perfect if plus had plus past participle and the main clause uses would have plus past participle. Here's an example. If I had studied harder, I would have passed the test. In this sentence, I didn't study hard and I didn't pass the test. The third conditional allows us to express how things might have been different if the past had been different. You use the third conditional when you want to imagine a different past, often in a context of expressing regret, criticizing, or just daydreaming. It's important to remember that we are talking about a hypothetical past situation, so these things did not actually happen. We are simply imagining a different outcome if circumstances had been different. For instance, if you had told me about the concert, I would have gone with you. In reality, you didn't tell me about the concert and I didn't go. The best way to master the third conditional is through practice. Try to form sentences imagining different outcomes for past events. Remember, it's perfectly okay if the if clause is at the end of the sentence, like this. I would have bought a new car if I had won the lottery. The meaning doesn't change. However, when the if clause comes first, we use a comma. That's all for our lesson today. Keep practicing the third conditional and don't be afraid to create complex sentences. Remember, it's all about imagining a different past. Thanks for joining in, and I hope this has been helpful. See you in the next video for more English learning adventures.